Hello and welcome to my channel with by curiosity. In my previous video, we covered what is compa ratio, formula to calculate compa ratio and a simple example. In this video, we will cover a more complex example where employees are tagged to different skills across different levels. If you are not clear on the concepts of compa ratio, I would strongly suggest you to watch my previous video, a link to which you will be able to see in the suggestion icon above. And I will also leave a link in description box below. So let's begin. My data set includes employee name, different skills that employees are working on, their level, and current compensation. Now, if you remember from my past video, we discussed two challenges to calculate compa ratio in this example. First, how to calculate median for different skills across different levels. Second, how to get median for every skill and level combination, which will be used to calculate compa ratio. The answer to first one is very simple. Insert a power pivot and create a measure to calculate median. I have already made a detailed video on the same. So I will quickly cover this part. Go to insert pivot table. Select the checkbox for add this data to data model. Click on OK. Go to power pivot. Click on measures, select new measure, name the measure as median underscore CTC. Write a small description. This is helpful if you are creating multiple measures and sharing this file with others. I will mention calculate median of employee CTC. Go to formula tab, type median and select employee data last CTC in lakhs. Click on OK. Now you can see median CTC here in the pivot table fields. Add skill to rows and level to columns. Add median CTC to values. And that's it. Isn't it simple? Let's look at our next challenge. How do we get median CTC in each and every column of our employee data table? Like in first row, skill is Java and level 3. So, median CTC should be 21.5. Here, we cannot use VLOOKUP. So, we will use combination of index and match formula. Let's understand the syntax. Equals to index. First parameter is array. Let's select the array. Here, we will go to our pivot table and select the cells where we have median CTCs. Next parameter is row num. Here we will add match formula. Since this parameter is checking for row, we want to get the data from Java row. So for lookup value, I will select this cell which is B70. Next parameter is the array, which will be these three rows where we have our skills mentioned. F4 to freeze the cells. Match type 0 for exact match. Similarly for columns, let's insert match formula. We want to get the data from level 3 column. So for lookup value, I will select cell C70 and array will be these three columns where we have all our levels mentioned and here we have our median ctc's now calculating compa ratio is simple equals to employee ctc divided by median ctc and that's it we have our data now you can analyze the data to check which employees are paid more than market midpoint and which employees are getting less than market midpoint and take a relevant action accordingly. 
So that's it for this video. I hope you liked my video and found it helpful. And if you did, please show some support by subscribing, sharing, liking and commenting. Every subscriber like, comment, share encourages me to make more content like this. Also, I have been planning to do a recruitment dashboard or attrition dashboard on Power BI and Google Data Studio. Let me know in comments if you would like to see more content like this. Meanwhile, stay safe, keep learning and bye-bye for now.